So welcome to our second episode of Spring Into Reading. And uh, let me tell you about a few things that are happening here. First of all, David Chapman has another exciting uh, presentation on Birds of Ontario, exploring the Birds of Ontario on our YouTube channel. And he's very kindly allowed us to leave it up for a couple of weeks. So have a look at those because it's they're amazing. I just love those, um, those videos of David Chapman. Um, let me tell you a little bit about the book that I explored this week. I'm not sure really what to say about this book. It's uh, No Pain, No Gains by Chip Gaines, who if you'll know, if you're a bit of a Renault fan, Renault addict, as some of us are, it's uh, based on uh, Joanna and uh, Chip Gaines, who run the Fixer Upper show, and they've now started their own network, huge success with Magnolia Magazine, and they've bought um, silos in Texas, and they've made them into this wonderful sort of community with uh, things for sale and really exciting. But anyway, so this book, and again, I'm not quite sure what to say about it. It looks like a very long convocation speech and definitely um, chips uh, talking about all the things that wisdoms, truisms, we'd like to pass on. Sweat equity, working hard, let your passion be the guide for your future, not aiming for the country club or any of those sort of uh, goals of success that we're, some people are meant to say are the goals of success. And I find everything that he's writing about are things we take for granted, we know, we've been told. Uh, there's a kindness and compassion underlying Chip and what I see, you know, on TV the impression of their family life and what they they do. He ran a marathon, trained for a marathon, just to raise money for a foundation to support cancer survivors. And, I, you know, things like that that sort of come out that I hadn't known about through watching the show. But anyway, don't know what to say again. I, I'm reading through it. It gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling about, you know, good things in life. I'd love to pass it on to, to a young person who's going on to to a future, to life, to a career. I'm not sure they would read it. And that's just, you know, the fact of life. But it, it certainly has a lot of uh, val values in it that we could ascribe to. I think we could all ascribe to. So, you know, we have it here at the library. Sign it out. That does sound like an inspiring read, Rose. Before I jump into my book of the week this week, I just want to take a minute and talk about the new update from the Libby app. So you'll notice that it looks a little bit different than maybe the last time you accessed it. But what I think they did a great job of doing is making sure some of the important things and the things maybe most of us should use frequently, uh, they put them in a more convenient location. What I want to do specifically is to bring your attention to this, I'm trying to make sure you guys can see it here, this skip the line feature here. And what you'll find when you tap on that button is a collection of titles which are often fairly popular and could have long holds lines on them, but these copies have no holds at all on them. So quite often you can end up with really great and popular reads before anyone else. And in fact, it's my book of the week, Wherever She Goes, that I actually ended up finding in that Skip the Line collection. And Kale Armstrong is a pen name for Kelly Armstrong, and I listened to the audiobook here, also narrated by Therese Plummer, who also narrates the Rockton series, which you guys know I love very much. So it felt like I knew these characters for a lot longer than I actually got to know them, uh, which really made the experience enjoyable. So in this book, Wherever She Goes, Aubrey is recently divorced from her husband and their daughter is living with him while she kind of figures out her own situation and gets a nicer place. She is jogging at the park one day and she sees this little boy she kind of knows um, get pulled into a vehicle against his will and she knows automatically this kid's been kidnapped SOS 911. So she calls the police but they don't really take her very seriously and they say you know basically to her that she needs to stop projecting her maternal feelings and her maternal shortfalls onto this kid it was probably just a kid who didn't want to leave the park a very normal situation but aubrey knows in her gut that's not what she saw this kid's mother ends up murdered which just further solidifies her thinking that she definitely saw this kid get kidnapped 
Aubrey has a bit of a, a secret past that she doesn't want anyone to know. And the skills from her past enable her to do a little bit of covert digging into the situation and basically affirms for her that she's right, this child was kidnapped and this is a very dangerous situation. Unfortunately, while she's doing this poking around, she also puts her ex-husband and her own daughter in harm's way, but you'll have to keep reading to find out from whom. So again, that is Wherever She Goes by Kale Armstrong, and I would encourage you to check out that Skip the Line collection on the new Libby interface. We want to thank you guys for participating in another one of our virtual programs. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.